Okay, now, well, Stone Out fucking knocked your uh, Ting Ting game on the head, didn't it? I think we got a thunderstorm coming over it because that went black over it all of a sudden. Can see light coming. So if I stayed in the bar for another 15 minutes or so, he could carry on playing his Ting Ting game. But we had a laugh anyway, didn't we, Hulkster, my little bath guard? Young Willow's come to see what you're scratching about trying to catch, isn't she? Like, she's sitting there good by there. Oh, it's gone black at the sea ace of speeds out there, isn't it, girl? Let's have a look on... Uh... Oh, I don't need to... Come on, Hulkster. In you come. Come. I'm not stepping over that. I'll trip over my fucking towel, won't I? Let's have a look at Sat24 quickly. Yep, you're in there and you know why you're in there, Hulk's uh, Marnie. She can't get up on my side, fuck. Hulk, stop, up there. Good boy. Since you're behaving, better than you was. Little lady up there on that sofa. Come on, move. Move. No, I didn't say go over there, did I? I said get up on that sofa. Whole pack's being fucking corrected at the moment, so. And it'll be my kids next if the ad continues to get the women in line. Right, let's have a quick look at the wind through the blinds. Look at the sky. Yeah, that's right overhead. Remember, relaxing in the bath for a reason. Stay there, Hulkster. Because I'm a slider, aren't I? I can manipulate energy, so let's have a look at that quickly. Oh. There goes the Simon's Whale outside, down the road a bit. Let's just have a look. No ice cat activity up there. I can see lines up there. Lines. But no donut shape like I've shown you the past couple of days. Right, so we've got scattered showers over the UK. Nothing more. If they're not messing about with the radar picture over the UK. So let's turn the lightning indicator on and see. Yes, there is lightning present. Right at my area. See? How did I know that? Because I could fucking feel it building... I'm not too far from the wash in Peterborough. So you know that's the accurate area. Let's just get the uh, little indicator up. Allowing sat24.com to, uh, to access your location. It's a pinged location, not my actual location, until I put it in now. So it only gives a rough idea. There you go, it says Peterborough, but I'm just outside. And that's right in the target zone, look. See the little target that come up when I press, press location? Let's try and enlarge it a bit. That should magnify it a bit. No, it's uh, last time I did that, it just fucking got bigger by itself. Let's uh, try and grow the picture. Nope. Enlarge it this way then. Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it doesn't. Right, so I know what time it is, don't I? Because it says it there. Let's have a look at the indicator now. There you go. Just north of the location, which is where I am. Just north of Peterborough. In an outlying village. I don't hide my location. Got nothing to worry about. 
But there you have it. Stress attracting energy. Nothing up in the whole area there, look. Here's a bit further down as you come down into Lincolnshire, mate. Right? So, safe driving, lads. It's only scattered showers, though. Right, there you have that. <laughs> so why was I trying to calm down? I've done everything what I needed to be doing. Dogs have been fed. They've had meat, protein. Enough food to get them by. They're not starving. While we work out how much we need to sort out the three dogs. So it's not a problem. I know it's all in hand. stay in there because I'm going to enjoy another recycled coffee but black oh dear and then get on with a bit of house got it in now the dogs are behaving right what do I want I want that spoonful of decaf coffee in it Turn that light on because I can't fucking see. It's gone like night time in here at the moment. And I don't want the blinds walking open or the curtains open while well, I've got monitoring going on. Let them assume things. Right. Where's my small cup? Because it's going to be black coffee, isn't it? Yeah, that's clean. Don't be sitting there in water. Cool. Do, 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 do. I ain't afraid of germs. That's why I didn't catch fucking COVID. When everyone was getting scared and told what they think. Yes, I was in a cell with people that had it. And who was getting scared by it all. And took the injections. And I watched them get ill in front of me. Didn't affect me though, did it? I just said, it's okay, I'll watch your back. Just in case anything happens to you. Don't worry, I'll press the medical button. Answer to Yammy B TV's question. Anything I've discussed about my brief 77 days inside? All true. Would I say it to their faces? The good people that was helping me in there, the good prisoners, the traveller boys and all that lot. Would I say that to their face? Yeah, buy them a pint, mate. Say thank you to them. And then say, if you've got any work coming, give us a shout, bro, and I'll come and help you out. The others? Well, I had a problem with one person. He knows who I am now. And how I do things if he's uh, out and about and back in the country. So I'm not worried about him. I've said publicly what I'm going to do. He knows what my name is, he knows where I live. So if he's got a problem, he can come here and tell me, can't he? Or he can leave me the fuck alone and uh, get on with what he's got to do in life the same as what I've got to do and then we won't have a problem will we there was one other prisoner in there who was watching my uh, disability like a policeman here comes the hail but I was told yeah there's there's wrong ones on this wing and there's uh other stuff going on so watch what you say and what you do and just take notice of everything and if you spot anything give us the heads up which I did so there's that sort of now would I say anything to uh, people I watch online if I saw them in real life 
if I ever bumped into one. Would I, if Mr. Yammy B, if I saw him actually in public and he made himself known who he was, and he was coming to me with the right intentions, well, of course, I'd shake his hands, give him a hug, like a brother. Not judging him, and hopefully him not judging me. Would I do the same with Big Brother? There. Yes. Do I get intimidated? Yeah, sometimes. But if someone's coming to me with good intentions, and I know by reading their insights, that they're genuine and pose no threat. Yeah, I treat him the same. With respect and manners like the old school way dictates. Because that's how I was brought up. So there's the answer to that question. Yeah, have I had um, falling out with, let's say, an orange man from the Northern Ireland? Not? Yeah. And he knows it, I can confirm it. But we're all grown ups now, so. Even in my respect. So, yeah. We'd have a, a bit of banter and a bit of name calling probably. Because he's another Millwall fan, but... He knows I've got my son's best interest at heart. Which is why I cheer on Millwall sometimes. We die. Cheer on my own son's team from the middle wing while they was playing my actual team that I support. Yeah, and I'd support it for my son as a Millwall supporter. So there's that little question answered. Because I've got real friends from long ago, a real family in that supporters club. Whereas, I chose my team when I was very young, and I didn't change it like my brother, who went from Leeds, to Liverpool, to Chelsea. I always stuck with the same team. And then when I wasn't able to go to football matches anymore from the disability and you know, the PTSD, where I can't be in crowds in case I get triggered. Um, would I do that? No. So do I laugh when my brother's team loses? Yeah. <laughs> Damn right, he's a Chelsea supporter now. <laughs> so I find that particularly funny. He's a glory hunter. But now, the money's gone out of Chelsea and the real Lions are rising up the table near the playoffs. I'd rather see Millwall in the Premiership, to be quite honest with you. They deserve it. They've changed so much over the years. And they all stick together. And they don't play silly fuckers. So there's that answer. Did I go and see Millwall v Peterborough? Even though I live in Peterborough and cheered down the Millwall end behind the goal while my mate was in the stands there somewhere? Yep. And he's the lead singer from Last Resort. So there's that question answered.
a man that gave me good advice once when uh, my missus was going through something, personal woman's thing. So he laughed and joked about it. He called her a name, I didn't react, you know, because I knew he was trying to cheer me up and he was telling me the truth. So, don't get fooled by the colour of a quilt cover and curtains, because I definitely don't support that team. It's just a quilt cover and curtains. That's blue. That's white. Same as the team I support. But now I'm cheering on my sons from the sidelines. Which involves funny days in football. Because two support Man United, one supports Spurs and one supports Millwall. So it's very rare they all win together. So... There you go. Right. Where's my kicks? What have I done with them there now? Get out of my seat, you. Move. I know you're warming it up for me. Good boy. Nice clean t-shirt. Nick myself shaving, so this is gonna fucking sting a bit. <laughs> Come on in, bitch. You follow me if you want to. Uh, there's my Danny T. And my youngest. So this is my oldest, my youngest together. That's Millwall. That's a Millwall face. My youngest is a Man United supporter because their stepdad supported Man United and I was kept well away, so I couldn't influence my children while they tried to get me nicked. The same as the fucking idiots up here that play these games. Right. <laughs> yeah, like father, like son. So this is going to smart up a bit. Oh, motherfucker. 